can be in the middle of a hurricane, or you can be on a calm day, north is still north. You could be in a thunderstorm, north is still north. People can yell at you, north is still north. It doesn't change fundamental things. And in this business, right is still right, even if you stand by yourself. Hey, welcome back to Courageous Media. I'm Chris. Thanks so much for joining me. We have more breaking news today, and it's not even about Trump getting shot. This is amazing. The winning keeps continuing. Hey, I wanted to play that clip because Clarence Thomas is the boss. Clarence Thomas is hands down the smartest person on the Supreme Court. Clarence Thomas is hands down one of the most intelligent legal minds in the history of the United States and certainly in the, in the United States today. Clarence Thomas is amazing. And with that in mind, I want to take you to our breaking news. The documents case has been dismissed by Judge Eileen Cannon. You have got to see this. I'm classified documents case uh, because the special counsel prosecution is in violation of the appointments clause uh, of the Constitution. Of, of course, uh, the special counsel in the case may uh, appeal this case, so the saga may not be over yet, but that breaking news just coming into us right now at CNN. Let me go to CNN's Caitlin Polance. Uh, she joins me now. Caitlin, I know uh, this is a very sudden development uh, with lots of implications. What can you tell us? Yeah, Judge Eileen Cannon is closing the classified documents case against Donald Trump. This was charged about a year ago in the Southern District of Florida, where prosecutors from the special counsel's office, so an office that was appointed by Merrick Garland for the particular reason to look at this in some sort of protected, independent way from the rest of the department, they brought more than 30 charges against Donald Trump for mishandling classified records after the presidency and for obstructing justice, that investigation trying to keep them when the government wanted them back. Judge Cannon is now saying that prosecutor doesn't have the ability to bring this case in court and thus it must be dismissed. What she's doing here, Jim, is very much in line with what Justice Clarence Thomas on the Supreme Court said in a concurrence just a few days ago uh, in the presidential immunity case. He wrote about the special counsel's office and Judge Cannon's finding here the reason that this case can't go before her is she says this special counsel just doesn't have the power in the way that she reads the Constitution. Thus, it's done. Outrageous and amazing. I want to take you to an article that talks about that real quick. So what they're talking about is in a concurring opinion uh, on the immunity case, Clarence Thomas specifically mentioned the fact that Jack Smith, was not appointed under the normal process. Realize that basically almost all of your special counsels are already appointed U.S. attorneys. So that means they've been nominated by the president and confirmed by the Senate. Jack Smith was no such person. So he was not a U.S. attorney. And in appointing him as a special counsel, they did not nominate him and then vet him and then appoint and then confirm him in the Senate. That means he has no standing to argue cases on behalf of the government because he is not an appointed U.S. attorney. This is just amazing. Clarence Thomas took that swipe just as part of a concurring opinion, but he basically laid it out. Look, you've got a serious issue with Jack Smith. He does not meet the appointments clause of the U.S. Constitution. And so we jump back in. As such... If he does not meet the appointments clause of the U.S. Constitution, he cannot argue cases before the Supreme Court. Now, this is just another major plank. Uh, I'm sure that is this the only reason that Judge Eileen Cannon dismissed the case? It might be the only reason that that rose to the level of an actual dismissal. But let's be real. She's also looking at the fact that the entire evidence pool in this case is tainted because the FBI manufactured evidence. They doctored evidence. They brought in fake classified cover sheets, TPS, you know, uh, top secret uh, clearance, you know, TSC cover sheets and other classified cover sheets and put them on top of the documents that Trump had and then took photos of them and used that as evidence. That's not evidence. They also leaked that evidence to the general public, trying to smear him in the court of public opinion. 
So the FBI was absolutely complicit in doctoring evidence, which is, <laughs> guess what? That is a criminal offense. Not only does that taint the entire evidence pool, not only does that is that exculpatory, not only does that demand that the case be dismissed on that grounds alone, it also means there should be criminal referrals for every single FBI agent who participated and managed that process. They should all be facing charges of evidence tampering. But along with that, you've also got the fact that Merrick Garland and Joe Biden skirted the entire appointments clause of the U.S. Constitution and tried to install their buddy Jack Smith who has no standing to argue cases before the Supreme Court. And now, as the winning continues, and just as Trump walks off the stage, fist held high, fight, fight, we now find out that one of the major cases against him on the federal level is out. It's done. Done and dusted. Bye-bye. Goodbye, Jack Smith and the documents case. This is absolutely awesome. Yeah, Caitlin, I mean, reading what the judge says in this ruling, it says both the appointments and appropriations challenges as framed in the motion raise the following threshold question. Is there a statute in the United States Code that authorizes the appointment of special counsel Smith to conduct this prosecution after careful study of the seminal issue? The answer is no. Um, and it seems, uh, she goes on to say, the executive's growing comfort in appointing regulatory special counsels in the more recent era has followed an ad hoc uh, pattern with little judicial scrutiny. And so, I mean, she really is slamming the fact that there is a special counsel that's been appointed in all of this, but it makes you wonder, uh, Caitlin, why she didn't raise this a while ago. I mean, how is this coming up now? It's coming up now because she's yeah. just getting to it now. This is mm. something that Trump's team had brought up to her months ago, and she just held a hearing on it just a few weeks ago in June before her, and she did seem to want to really look into, is there enough here for her to allow the special counsel case to move forward under the Constitution. And then we get that Thomas uh, concurrence from the Supreme Court basically outlining that he doesn't believe, at least him, no other justices signed on to it, but at least Thomas didn't believe that the special counsel's office is appropriate. There have been, though, Jim, several other uh, special counsel office prosecutions that people have tried to test this idea that there isn't the authority to bring in a special counsel to bring a case like this against anyone, let alone it be John. There is authority for special counsel, but they must already have been appointed, nominated, and confirmed by the Senate. They have to go through that process. All of them were previous U.S. attorneys. So they were already nominated and confirmed, not Jack Smith. Jack Smith, they tried to stick underneath the door under the cover of night, and Clarence Thomas saw the saw what was going on. He and I don't know if I'm sure he knew about the motion the Trump team filed months ago, but he wanted to make sure that Judge Eileen Cannon and the rest of the public knew that the Supreme Court was aware of this and that there was a serious constitutional issue. And that's just beautiful. Clarence Thomas the original gangster, Terry Clarence Thomas, the smartest political mind on the Supreme Court and in the U.S. today, in my opinion, helped pave the way. Judge Eileen Cannon has dismissed the documents case. The losing continues for the lawfare of the Democrat authoritarian tyrannical party. Joe Biden loses again. His DOJ loses again. Thank God. This is amazing. Uh, please let me know what you think in the comments. Um, I'm celebrating today. I'm celebrating because we have the start of the RNC and we have an alive nominee, President Donald J. Trump, who by the grace of God survived that assassination attempt. And now the winning continues. The documents case is out. The next one will be this idiotic Jan 6 case. Uh, the, uh, the conviction in New York is already on life support. And the uh, case in Georgia is a giant nothing burger. Uh, Fanny, Fannie Willis will be lucky if she doesn't see prison time uh, or get disbarred. The lawfare that they attempted to try to prevent the American public from voting for the candidate of their choice is utterly failing. Despite Joe Biden's empty words yesterday about people being able to exercise their right to vote for the candidate of their choice, absolutely empty because he has spent the last two years trying to deny them that right through lawfare. And it has failed again by the grace of God. Hey, thanks so much for listening. Please smash that like button. Uh, let me know what you think in the comments. 
Are you happy this happened? Uh, do you think it's on good standing? What do you think will happen with the J6 case uh, that Jack Smith, do you think that that judge will be forced to consider the fact that there's already now a legal precedent saying Jack Smith is not authorized to do this? And if that case proceeds forward, guess what? There is an automatic appeal to the Supreme Court because you have one legal opinion already stating he cannot try cases as a representative of this U.S. government. This is just awesome. Thank you so much, Courageous Army, for all your love and support. Remember, if you want to support the channel in more uh, in a deeper way, you can join us as a member on YouTube or Locals, and also you can come part of our core team. Please turn on those notifications whenever we drop a video. Watch it, like it, comment, and share it with all your socials. Right now, please share with all your socials. Let everybody know that the winning continues for DJT. God is good and he is sovereign. It'll all be good in the end. We've got to fight to save our country. So we've got to donate. We've got to volunteer. Let's get out and drag 15 people with us to vote. We'll make it too big to rid. It'll all be good in the end, man. It's not yet good. It's not yet the end. Until I catch you next time.